Thank you guys so much for watching. Today I'm here with my husband Justin and we are going to be doing the first time challenge or the first time tag. I guess it's a tag. And um, if you guys are familiar with Justin, we have a daily vlog channel. It's called April Justin TV. We'd love for you guys to subscribe and we'll link it down below. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's do it. All right. So the first question, <laughs> first tweet. This isn't starting out well because I, 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 I don't even remember. remember what my first tweet yeah, was. Yeah, so we're going to have to skip that. Hello I world. Remember. I don't know. I remember I was resisting Twitter for a long time. Me too. Like you joined earlier than I did, but mm -hmm. I, I don't know why. I was just like very resistant. And now I really like it. Like, yeah, I like Twitter. You know, I scroll down my feed and everything. All right, first YouTube video. I remember mine. Yeah? Yeah, it was back in August 2009. The Bella B hair removal. I used to legit like roll that thing across my face because my face is hairy and I did a review on how it could remove hair and that thing hurts like no other but back in the day it never hurt me because I was used to the pain. <coughs> you know but now if I try that mm -mm, I don't know what I was thinking. I remember your personality was yeah. very I thought that much I had more to be, timid. I had to like... be professional. <laughs> like I thought YouTube was like you had to be professional so I talked in a different way and then I realized no Oh, I can say whatever I want and talk however I want. So I changed. I, remember, I, I became me. I remember my first YouTube video was, uh, "What do women want in men, or what do men want in women?" And uh, and I did the, I like on my advice channel, and I had like this beautiful epic ocean background and everything, and I was like a full body shot and everything. I make make fun April of him because his pants were like Eka high. He looked crazy, you guys. I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. Day. So the next question is first person you subscribe to on YouTube. I can list them. Like I remember I subscribed to Bub's Beauty, Marlena Makeup Geek, It's Judy Time, and also Chanel Blue Satin. She is a Texas based model and mommy and she no longer does YouTube but she's the reason why I created a YouTube YouTube really? channel. Yeah, she inspired me because she because she was just so amazing and sweet and I related to her in so many ways. And then there was also, there's some more YouTube. <gasps> Anna Sokone, the style diet because um, Chanel Blue Satin and Anna Sokone, they were like BFFs and I would see them like talking to each other or mentioning, mentioning each other and I'm like, oh, who is she? So I subscribe. The next question is first Facebook profile pic. You want to go first? I'm going to go back. I'm going to like go back and actually look because I don't remember. But mm -hmm. my first, I think my first Facebook profile picture or one of the first ones was me looking all rocker like I used to be in a band and I would like I had this like profile like a like this like, really? like this with my microphone yeah I'll I put it on the screen if I can find it but uh, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that was one of my first profile pictures what about you um I didn't have a Facebook until I met you yeah, you, you asked me to create a <laughs> Facebook account and it was the same profile that I had on Yahoo Personals well. when we met. Yeah, we got we met <laughs> online, you guys. Like, I'm sure you guys know, or maybe you guys don't, but we met online when we were in college. I remember when I was, I think I wanted you to create a Facebook because I really wanted everyone to know that you were my girl. You know, I had to, I, people had to know you were connected to me. Man, I, I was not, say that. <laughs> I was not into social media. I like hated it when he would like tag me. And I'm like, why? Why you gotta let people see me? Next question. Do you still talk to your first love yes I do you guys yes I do because yeah. because my first love my real first love is Justin <laughs> my a, real <laughs> and only first love yeah you but like do you, that but do you talk to your first boyfriends I think is a real no 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 that I answered it correctly <laughs> honey I get brownie points I answered it correctly you do, you do. but no I don't Actually, talk we to don't, no yeah, first boyfriend we both don't like we ever since we got together like we don't talk to our previous relationship it's just not mm -hmm. What for? Uh, what for? Yeah, it's just it's like I have like no desire years? at all. Yeah. What's your first alcoholic drink? I remember this one. I was in Spain. No, the first one was when I was, I think it was, yeah, when I went to, my sister was studying abroad in Spain and I went to visit her. I was 16 mm -hmm. and the drinking age in Spain is 16 oh. and she took me to like a discoteca, I think it's a discoteca <laughs> and it's like a dance club there mm -hmm. and I had a uh, Fanta, it's like that orange fizzy yeah, drink. Yeah, yeah. And with some like vodka in it or something. Mm -hmm. That was like the first alcohol I ever had. I see. And I like it's funny because I didn't like I got back to the states and I never drank again like until I was twenty one. I don't know why I was like, okay. It's legal here. I can do it. You know. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. What about you? I remember I wasn't twenty one. I was, really? Yeah. I was nineteen yeah. and I I tried an apple martini. Really? And it was good. <laughs> it was good. But my preference now is I like red wine. Oh. Yeah, really? but it's so rare. Like the only time we drink red wine is like. 
<laughs> Once in a blue moon. I can't drink red wine after six anymore because I snore. This is this Did is my. Did say uh, sex uh, after sex anymore because I snore? I said I can't <laughs> drink red wine after six. Oh, anymore. oh my what? <laughs> That's what she's thinking about, you guys. No, yeah. I'm not. No. <laughs> All right. So, what was your first job? My first job was I, w I worked for my dad. My dad had like a computer repair, computer like IT type company, and I worked for him. I helped him do stuff. That's how, how old were you? That's how I got into computers. Um, fifteen or sixteen, I started working for him. Mm -hmm. What about you? I was fifteen. I worked at a park at a daycare, oh. and I emptied the trash, and I got to just hang out with the kids, watch them swim and stuff. It like, was fun. You had your work permit. Yeah, it was a. It was the city I lived in had a special program where it, when you were fifteen you got to do just a summer job, and then when I turned sixteen I worked at Chuck E. Cheese. I loved it. I was Chucky. I did birthday parties. It was a, an amazing <laughs> job. The next question: What was your first car? I had a Chevy Metro, and it was. I forgot the year, but I drove that car so <laughs> fast, and I thought I was like racing status. When I met April, and like we, I remember we were going somewhere, I was following her, and she she just like started the car and just like Ooh, like took off. I was like, what is going on here? And she like knows how to handle that or knew how to handle that. I knew car, how to right? drive that car really well. I liked that car. My uh, my first car was my mom's hand me down or my mom and dad's hand me down Toyota ninety two Toyota. Toyotas Camry. are good, honey. Toyota Camry, yeah, man, those are run that thing. Who was the first person to text you today? First person to D, text me, so my girl D, my bestie D. We always text all day, every day, all the time. Okay, I'm looking right now. First person to text me today. Probably a group chat with Jerry and Chad. <laughs> That's what I, who I have now, but... Oh, um, it might be your dad. Yes, it was Jerry Levine. That was the first person and to text Chad. me today. And Chad. <laughs> <laughs> That's who was the first person you thought of this morning? That would be Liam mm -hmm. because he wakes me up around 6.30 a.m. I hear him on the monitor and I thought of him today because I, I thought, oh, today is his daycare day because he goes twice a week. And yeah. The first person I think of uh, pretty much every day is Liam too because I get up to work out in the morning and mm -hmm. I always think I hope I don't wake him up. I'm very quiet leaving the room, so I always think... Who was your first grade teacher? I remember I was in kindergarten, and my teacher was Miss Agben. And um, I remember I moved from um, the Philippines to California, and we were living at my Auntie Cece's house. And, like, I didn't really know English very well, so having Miss Agben as my teacher was really helpful because she spoke... She talked in Tagalog sometimes with me to help me, which was... Which was amazing because I, like, she was the only teacher that ever talked Tagalog wow. ever. And, like, that kind of helped me transition since I was so new. My first grade teacher was, I believe, Mrs. Larson. She, oh, you she was, Yeah, she was, like, the sweetest woman. I remember just being very, like, feeling very... I, I think I, she was like one of my first crushes when I was Aww, a little kid. Really? He's, you, I don't know. Do you ever have that where you like have a crush with a teacher when you're young? I think she was one of the first because she was so nice. And, you know, Aww, yeah. Where did you go on your first ride on an airplane? My first ride on an airplane was from the Philippines to California because I was born in the Philippines. Oh, do, you remember you? The, do you remember the ride? No, I don't. Yeah. I don't even remember how I got here, but <laughs> I mean, I was like two and a half, yeah, three, yeah, I so I don't remember. I, don't, I honestly don't remember my first airplane ride. Probably... Um, I think I went to Canada, like Victoria, when I was really, really little. Oh, really? Not Minnesota? Or actually, yeah, it was probably Minnesota to, to visit, visit my grandparents. Who was your first best friend and do you still talk? Of course, I still talk to my first best friend because my first best friend is my cousin Donna. We were like this and we still, well, like this, like this. <laughs> we were so close and, you know, we don't talk all day, every day, all the time. But I still consider Donna one of my best friends and I feel so lucky growing up with Donna because I don't have, I didn't have siblings until I was older, like my age gap with my siblings, like my, is eight years with my brother and then 11, well 10 and a half years with my sister. So Donna is like my sister from another mister and mother, like she's my best friend. Yeah. I love Donna, like yeah, so I still do talk to her. My, uh, <laughs> my best friend... Uh, my first best friend was Danny. I, I went to preschool with Danny. And yes, I just went to his his birthday party last, uh, we, we just went last weekend, this last weekend. So yeah, he's one of my oldest friends, oldest best friends, and we still talk. I feel really fortunate to have had a friendship for, for so long with him. For Where sure. was your first sleepover? It was at Donna's house. 
<laughs> yeah, Donna's house. And it was fun because Donna would sleep at mine. I would sleep at hers. We would sleep, you know, at um, Auntie Cisa's house, which is also our cousin Catherine's house. And then it would be so fun when my cousin Annalisa visited from Canada because she would sleep over everyone's house. And it was, <laughs> I loved it. I wish that they still, like, they lived in like you, they yeah. live closer to us. I don't. I don't exactly remember my first who, where it was. I'm pretty sure it was at my house. But one thing I remember, like I had a lot of sleepovers with friends, and we would make these forts. Like mm -hmm. we would put chairs up and have these like big blankets mm -hmm. over, and then we would sleep in our sleeping bags underneath the forts, and we'd have these like epic Nerf gun battles. Was Danny there? Danny, yeah, for sure. Always. Danny was there. Mm -hmm. Like that was just one thing that I re really remember clearly about my young childhood that we would sleep in forts and have Nerf gun baths. The next question is, what was the first thing you did this morning? The first thing I did this morning was I pushed Justin <laughs> like this because his alarm was going off because you know he has an alarm to work out every morning and it takes him forever to get up and That's I'm like, you, you need to get up. No, 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 no you need to get up because our son's had, gonna wake up and I don't want him to wake up. It had only been ringing for like literally yeah, three seconds. Yeah, and I'm like kung fu like. <laughs> like yeah, like literally up. she expects me like the alarm to go off and I'm just like, <laughs> you know, like jump up like I immediately. Do, I would. I do. I, I get, I'm like oh, I'm like lulled out of my sleep. Okay, no. I need to turn it no, off. No, I'm no, like, this, that's too. Up. That's too slow for her. No, it's too. No, the first I was thing, like, wake up. The first thing that I did this morning was um, be pushed by April. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the first thing, first thing I did was uh, was uh, feed the cats and then work out. Yeah, that's uh, that's my my morning. Uh, next question is, what was the first concert you ever went to? First concert I ever went to. This is amazing. Was the Offspring and Lit at the Greek Theater in Berkeley? I, I went with my sister. And I remember I was wearing, there was a radio station here, um, it was called Live, Live 105, and they were hosting the concert, and I had a t-shirt uh, on that said Live 105, and one of the radio station employees came up to me and my sister during the concert and said, hey, I really like your shirt. Since you're showing support for our radio station, how would you like to go to a after-the-concert bowling party with Lit, with Dang. the band? And that was like my first concert. How and I was like 12 or 13 maybe. Wow, and yeah. they picked you? They picked me and my sister and all of us and we got to go and like, I don't know if you guys remember. Do you guys remember this song? I can't remember. Na, 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 yeah. Please tell me why. Yeah. Okay, I won't sing the whole thing. Is but that, that's my That's hit? lit. That's lit. I didn't know that. Yeah, and they, they had another song with like um, Pamela Anderson. It was, um, uh, you make me completely <laughs> miserable. Yeah, yeah so they, uh, I, we got to go bowling with them, like talk with them. Like it was awesome. There was only like 20 people there or something. It was dang. so cool. It was like a VIP thing. And I was like, dang, this is my first concert. Is every concert going to be like this? This is amazing. That's yeah. crazy. What was your first concert? My first first concert was actually when we were dating that um the smoke and mirrors band what were they called smoke and mirrors oh um do, 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 smoke oh and mirrors. oh receiving end of sirens yeah. that was your first concert yeah receiving ends of sirens and then there was Dang. a band that played before them and i fell in love with that band what was that band? um i don't remember who opened for them man i forgot but i loved them like i was obsessed with them for a long time like there was a song, man, I can't remember, you guys, it's been forever. Was that As Tall as Lions? No, I them? wasn't no. a fan of As Tall as oh. Lions. Well, because I thought that his voice was so high. I, yeah. Every time you played it on the radio, I would get so annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was your first concert, though. That's so cool. Yes! Well, I didn't, it was like in Hollywood or something. I didn't go to any yeah. other, and then the other one was John Mayer and Jason That Mayer. was really fun. Next question is, what was your first broken bone? I, none. You've never broken any bones? No. Really? Well, I don't, I don't recall ever breaking a bone, but I feel like my nose is broken. What? Like, like there's, there's a little weird like indent. I mean, about? I didn't break it, but I was born with it. But I feel like there's, honey, there's an indent. Why are you looking That's at like me? That's like natural. Honey? I'm trying to there's see what you're saying. There's an indent. Do you see it? That's natural, probably. Do I have one? No, but mine looks funny. It looks broken. I don't see it. You look beautiful, honey. My first broken bone. Uh. Yeah, I broke, um, I've broken fingers playing soccer, like my soccer? fingers and toes. Yeah. What do you do playing, you use your feet for well, soccer? Well, I was goalie. Oh, I, I was didn't goalie, know. But I was goalie, oh, but I also played forward, I was pretty aggressive, so I would slide tackle people and stuff. Yeah. I hope Liam doesn't <laughs> break any bones. I, I, I mean, mean, he's a boy and he'll get, you know, get really crazy. And surprisingly probably... though, like I never, I played sports all growing up, baseball and soccer. Mm -hmm. Never broke an arm or a leg. I've never broken an arm or a leg. So that, okay. that's... What is the first movie you remember seeing? Oh, man. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Chop Chop Lady? <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Chop Chop Lady was later oh, in oh, my sorry. years. 
I remember it was that, oh my gosh, it was a scary movie. It's the, the first movie I ever remember was a scary one, the Mary Lou one. The, this is like a Filipino the, No, it's the something prom night Mary Lou. You know that one? Oh, oh you mean like Carrie? Yes, that Carrie. one. Yeah. Yes, it was the original. The blood, yes, like... yes, yes. Oh my gosh, it was the original Carrie mm -hmm. and that was so scary. Dang, how old were you when you watched that? My, my family members would be watching and I'd be like, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> like I remember seeing it. I, I think the first, one of the first movies I remember was probably Disney films. Like, like, oh, good um, for you. What's the, yeah, like you're like watching Carrie, I'm watching Disney, but <laughs> Lion King probably. When was your first detention? Did you I get, remember. You got detention? Really? Yeah. Okay, what was your first detention? I told you this story, what? honey. I remember I was in fourth <laughs> grade. I forgot the teacher's name, but I was mocking her because when she gets mad, she's like, you guys better be good or I'm going to explode. <laughs> and so one time, she like we were so close to pissing her off like the entire class. And then I straight up said, my little smart Alex self was all like, we need to stop where she's going to explode. <laughs> and then... And then she freaking sent me to Siberia, which this, is a closet that is... was really cold. And she made me stay there. And I was so cold and it was so dark and I was so scared. This was fourth grade, right? And she was like, I would stick my head out and I'd be like, I'm cold. <laughs> and she'd be like, she would be like, no, stay in there. Fam. That's like abusive, I feel like. That's so. You think so? Kind of. I felt, okay, Dang. I would never do that to a That's kid crazy. as a teacher. But she chose to do that. Man, I. <laughs> I wish I remembered your name. I wish. <laughs> Shoot. I would come at you right now. <laughs> my, uh, my first attention, same thing. I was like, I was, I, no, actually, I wasn't mocking a teacher, but I, I always like tried to like get a laugh out of other kids. I was kind of like class clown in elementary school. And I had these, these, um, sunglasses that I got from like, I don't know, Oriental trading or something. And they looked like the Beatles glasses. They were the circle ones, you know, mm -hmm. and I had them from Halloween. And so I, I had put them on in class. They were really dark. And then I, I wrapped like a sweater around my, my neck. Like I had seen someone doing the movie, like an old movie. Okay. Like, I'm cool, you know? And mm -hmm. I was just like going like this in class, like looking at my friends and stuff. And then, and like, like when you're a kid, when you're younger, you don't, you don't think that adults know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't think like, oh, I'm going to get caught doing this. Or like, you know, oh, I wonder what they're going to say. Like, you just do it. Like, you don't, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know if you guys know, like, think, do the same thing. But like, to me, like, it was never a thing. And so, yeah, I got detention. They said I was disrupting class. How long, like, where was your detention? Was it in Siberia? I, no, my teachers weren't quite as abusive as yours, but <laughs> I don't remember. I, no, you had to go stand out on a dot. That was the thing. Okay. During recess and everyone would look at you. Oh, <laughs> that's shaming. That's shaming. It's like peer, that... peer shaming. Mm -hmm. and come to think of it, that's kind of bad, too. Yeah. <laughs> when was your first kiss? Justin, when we were reading this question, he's like, ours? And I'm like, no, our first, <laughs> first kiss. So I remember my first kiss was in fourth grade. It was actually not a kiss that... I wanted this boy came up to me and he's like I got a secret to tell you so he was like like this about ready to tell me secret and then he went and it was like the sloppiest most saliva kiss on my cheek but you know what I walked away and I was all like I didn't know what to think about it <laughs> first kiss um I was pretty I was older I was uh, 14 or 15 I think oh yes yeah one of my first girlfriends um, yeah, that was my first kiss. I'm not happy. What? I'm not happy. I'm not happy. <laughs> Dang, honey. You know, like, now that we're married and stuff, I wish we were each other's first everything, you it's, know? You know, it's funny, like, I don't even, like, I never think about the past, like, past relationships, ever. Until we have until we Until this. we start talking about it, because it's just, yeah. like, it's not part of my daily, like, thought process, you know? And so it's funny to, like, think back and be like... There was a time when I wasn't with you because that's like it's to me that's my whole life now you know so know. It's, it's really fun. thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this vlog give it a thumbs up and we hope you guys subscribe to our daily vlog April Justin TV and we'll see you guys next time bye. bye.